All right, everybody. I just took my vaporizer out of my car. Did the other video just a few minutes ago. I wanted to show this one so you guys could see what all the internals look like. Because um, I'm sure that some of you guys are going to ask. Um, but as you can see, I disconnected. Uh, and that's where my air filter went, used to go. I'm going to be getting a different air filter to connect under the air inlet end. Um, just so that I filter out the air so it's not making my gas all dirty. Um, but I'll take the lid off here and show you guys what the innards look like. I'll set this right here while I'm doing it. Nice shot of my foot there. Um, okay, I have the lid off. Proof that there was gas in there, not anything else. Um, right here, as you can see, that's where I drilled all the holes on the side. See, so it prevents it from sucking the liquid fuel in. Um, but that's how that is. And then on this part over here, the bottom, I, I drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom to make it so that there's a bunch of little bubbles. Okay, as it bubbles up. So that's what it looks like. Right here I have my float valve, as you can see. So control the amount of gas. I had to change it a little bit. So I'm working right. That's where the other part's at. And the fuel line will hook on right there. Um, so, that's how it works. So I built it, um, as I said before, there's the coupler, there's a piece of pipe in between it. I have the uh, cap right here with the holes drilled in the bottom of it. Uh, I had to cut a cap um, to make it shorter so that it doesn't extend down very far. Um, and then I glued that on. Got all the holes right there. And I smashed, glued it, smashed it all together up against the lid to seal it. Um, and got all my other pipes. So. That's what it looks like, guys. Go ahead and put the lid back on it. All right, sorry, this is all I have to work with. Um, I know it's gonna get up, but it never works, right? Okay, just have to make sure that I get this on here right, because otherwise it's gonna interfere with my valve. Alright. Okay. Oh, so, that's what it looks like, guys. Um, you can build one yourself and try it on your own car if you want. If there's any of you that don't believe me, um, try it for yourself. It's the only way that you're going to really know. You know, I mean, so. It does work, I promise. It's a wonderful thing. Um, hopefully I get my check valve installed today. I'm going to try to do it today. Um, because I really want to get this working for my trip. I was going to take a trip to Arizona to go see my daughter, but instead um, she's coming over here, so I'm actually going to be going to Salt Lake. It's just still a three hour drive from where I'm at, and I'd like to, to get some mileage tests done on it during that time. So we shall see. Hopefully I do, um, but we'll see. My hood does close all the way, by the way, when I have it in. I just have to push the pipes down more, so but that's the car that it's on. It's 2006 Buick Rendezvous. Um, so, and that's my vaporizer. All right, everybody take care. Peace out. Give me some comments on whether you like it or not. Um, improvements that you have, you know, good ideas, stuff like that. So, all right.
Take care, guys. Bye.